What's going on, Lead Gen Beast? Matty Ice here, Leads for Locals. Uh, just doing a screen share today, no video. Uh, I'm in the Dominican Republic right now uh, on a work retreat. And uh, the internet is kind of off and on. So we're just going to do the screen share today. But um, today I wanted to walk you through something I just uh, created inside of Canva. I want to show you how to create a, uh, a really awesome uh, cheat sheet using uh, these different templates in Canva. Uh, they're really, really good lead, uh, cheat mat, uh, I should say, uh, cheat sheets, guides, checklists, things like that. They make really good lead magnets, uh, just really good for the top funnel, uh, top of funnel where you're building your pipeline, you're getting you know name, email, phone number, maybe a couple of questions here and there, but mostly just name, email, and phone number to get people into your ecosystem. And uh, you know, cheat sheets are really good too because they're easy to digest uh, for people. You know, it doesn't take them a long time. It's not like an hour long webinar or anything. You know, they can usually get through these things pretty quick. So they're uh, much more likely to actually subscribe to your list for them. So um, let's see, in Canva, uh, and, and I'm using the pro version. So I am upgraded uh, here and uh, I think it's like 13 or 14 bucks a month, something like that. Um, you can uh, sign up for it in the description if you want. It is an affiliate link if you want to um, support the channel. I would appreciate it. But um, I want to walk you through the uh, the cheat sheet that I have put. Oh, that's not it. Uh, the cheat sheet that I've put together. Uh, first, I'll walk you through it. And uh, this should actually say cheat sheet. There we go. All right, and then I'll walk you through how to actually put this together. So the the first thing that you want to do is obviously get the uh, like come up with the content for your cheat sheet, and uh, I'm just gonna walk you through what I put together here. And uh, I was trying to think of like the 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 main things that people need to know about my product and service. Um, so I recently started. Uh, an infinite banking business, a uh, new YouTube channel and all that. If you guys are uh, interested in that, I'll link below uh, to my channel. It's really, really powerful stuff. But uh, I've just been creating all this uh, all this content and, and you know, funnels and lead magnets and all that stuff. And, you know, as I've learned uh, how infinite banking works, um, a lot of, you know, a lot of different questions come up and there's some really important things that people need to know about it. So when you're putting your cheat sheet together, you want to think about like, what are the, the top five to 10 things that people need to know about your product and service or five to t uh, t uh, top five to 10 things that would help them uh, solve a problem related to um uh, your product or service, or that would eventually lead to them using your product and service, right? Uh, what are the top five to 10 questions that people usually have, right? Something like that. And so uh, uh, the, the the first page I made here was just obviously saying, uh, letting them know like, hey, this is the, the cheat sheet, most important things you need to know about infinite banking. So what would those things be for you? The most important things you need to know about XYZ, whatever. Uh, maybe taking care of your AC during the summer. Um, you know, cheat sheet on uh, how to efficiently clean your house. I don't care what it is, whatever. How to uh, most important things you need to know about online marketing. All right, et cetera, et cetera. All right, so then um, I've got these different pages here that just go through kind of the, the main parts. So I start at a high level of what infinite banking is, and then I do a brief description right here. Um, you know, who infinite banking is for, who it's not for. Uh, and then uh, and step four here, uh, get into how infinite banking works but then uh, what's really cool uh, about canva is that we can actually create hyperlinks here inside of the the images and then when we download it as a pdf um, and in, in another video i'll link it down below i'm going to show you guys how to put this on uh, like your cheat sheet on a web page in high level and uh, using the image slider it's really really cool strategy guys it is awesome so make sure you check that out in the description but for now we will just be downloading this as a pdf um, so once you get done you click download change the file type and then um, download as a pdf but when um, people download it as a pdf these links will link out to the various different pages of your funnel uh, in this particular case, I'm linking out to different YouTube videos that I have uh, that I have done um, based on this specific uh, specific topic. So this video that I've linked right here, it links to a video I did about how uh, just like breaking down the infinite banking concept, right? So then the next one, I talk about uh, how much money is needed. There's another video that goes to this topic, right? So I'm sending traffic. Uh, like I'm generating leads, I could generate leads with this check uh, with this cheat sheet, but then I'm also sending traffic to different pieces of content. That's going to help it rank. It's going to get more views. 
um, you know, you don't have to send it to content, but you know, you maybe send them to an appointment calendar, maybe send them to a different social media platform that you have, uh, you know, if they want you know, to follow you on Instagram, TikTok, or, you know, whatever it is, there's a lot of different things you can do. So I'm basically just uh, going through the main things that they need to know, just doing a brief description of, of each topic, uh, just kind of high level stuff. And then uh, at the end, I, I go through some uh, like specific benefits. I do a bullet point list here, right? And then at the end, uh, they can click to book a call. All right, and I link that out. So really cool stuff, really, really powerful lead magnet. Um, how do we actually create this? So if we go to Canva, what I did was, uh, I believe it was a presentation that I did. Uh, give me one second, let me make sure I got the size right here. Okay, I remember, it was a carousel. So what I did was, uh, if you uh, up here at the top, if we search for a carousel, all right, uh, it's gonna bring up all these different templates. And you can see this is the one that I use right here. And you really just wanna find one that resonates with you that uh, I guess matches your brand colors as well, which, you know, of course you can always change your brand color. But um, the great thing about Tam uh, Canva is they have some awesome templates that you can use. I would say keep it simple. I mean, if we hover over these, we can get an idea of what the pages look. This one looks really cool. Uh, you know, it's got the graphics in it as well, but I just want to keep mine really simple. So this is the one I picked. And uh, all we're going to do is click on the template that we want to customize. Go ahead and click customize this template. All right, and then uh, some of the basic things first, uh, like up here at the top, you know, on the first one, I just put my my company name, Millennial Wealth Creator. And then uh, later on, uh, I would use this as the questions or the statement, whatever that uh, that would be the topic of this particular page, right? So you come in here, change up the, uh, the text, obviously, this is going to be the name of your cheat sheet. And you can put like websites down here if you want, uh, if you want to link out to your website, you can do that. Okay, so you're just gonna um, change up the text and I, I would say leave everything else for the most part. I mean, you can click on these things and you know, if I wanted to change the color, I could do that. Um, but I, I wouldn't go too crazy. Uh, you know, uh, like if you have to go too crazy on the template, then you probably picked the wrong template. Um, I would just pick a different one, right? All right, so um, you're just gonna go through and customize each page. And if you need to add another page, and I'll, I'll show you how to hyperlink everything here in a second, but um, what we could do is actually uh, just duplicate the page right here, and then you just change up the text here. That's it. It's literally all you do. All right. So once you once you've gone through the first few pages, uh, if you need to add another one, you can always just duplicate it and then change it up accordingly. And uh, to hyperlink, uh, literally all we're going to do is highlight the text that we want to link. All right. Little hyperlink button is going to pop up right here, and you literally paste in the link. I'll just do www.google.com. Okay. All right. And that's it. Um, you can also embed it. Uh, I haven't played around with that, but I've just been doing the links. All right. So when they click on that, uh, uh, on the URL there, it will send them to this link. That's it. It's literally all you have to do to, to hyperlink it. Now at the, uh, at the end, I did do a, what looked like a button. So let me get rid of these elements here. I'll show you how I create buttons inside of Canva, so let's line that up. All right, so I just uh, adjust the size of the shape here, and all I'm gonna do is, I, I can actually just duplicate this text right here, but um, you can also add text. Uh, I'm just gonna duplicate this to keep the same the, the same font type, which you can change over here. Lots and lots and lots of different font types. Uh, of course, you can change the font size, and you can bold, not bold, uh, underline it, all that good stuff. All right, but um, I'm just going to duplicate that. I'm going to drag this over and I'm going to uh, line that up. Uh, let's change the color here to white. And literally all you would do is I know, book a call or, you know, claim your discount. Uh, you know, request the free, request the next lead magnet, you know, whatever, it, whatever it is. And let's go ahead and let's we'll just make the button a little bit smaller here. And then we're going to, again, highlight the text. We're going to link to, in this case, it would be my appointment calendar page and I insert that link, and that's literally all I do. And once that's done, then you come up here, download it as, uh, just do the PDF standard, and when we open that up, go ahead and uh, show you guys this. All right, let's open that up. All right, this is what it looks like. This is, I mean, it's just so cool. And then, you know, you can put this in your email sequence. You can attach it to an email, or if you're using high level, um, I'll show you how to uh, upload this into high level and uh, send it out in an email if you want, you know, put it on a funnel page.
But um, when we scroll down, I can actually click this and uh, it'll take me to the content. It's pretty cool stuff. Um, unfortunately, right now, um, it doesn't allow you to open in a new window. So you might want to instruct people to like open, click, right click and open link in new tab. I don't think it's really that big of a deal, to be honest. But uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's your call. But yeah, uh, I think this is really cool. Just being able to download as a PDF, we can now um, head over to high level here. And let's go back. And to bring it into high level, um, so you can add it, uh, like you can either attach it to your email or you can link it out. I like to, I prefer to use the link option because uh, sometimes when you attach emails, it's more likely to go to spam. So just keep that in mind, uh, maybe test that out. But uh, let's say you do want to uh, use the link option. We're going to go to media uh, under settings. We're going to click open media library. We're going to upload file. Uh, I already have it here in the uh, cheat sheet folder that I made, but um, here's the PDF. All right, uploaded. And when you select it, you can actually copy a link for it. And now you can share it however you want. You can put in it. Uh, I mean, I wouldn't put in a text, but you know, probably just in an email. And uh, now people will be able to download that PDF. So anyways, guys, um, that's pretty much it. I wanted to show you how to very quickly, very easily uh, put together an awesome lead magnet using Canva. This took me, I don't know, maybe 30 minutes to an hour. Um, I mean, I was you know, adding more to it uh, because that's why it took a little bit longer. But, you know, you could probably get this uh, completed in like 15 to 20 minutes, to be honest. Uh, that's why I love Canva. They have fantastic templates. It's really easy to use. Very, uh, just a lot of flexibility. So um, hope that was helpful, guys. If you found it helpful, just please hit that like button for me. Consider subscribing. Uh, go through my affiliate links uh, in the description if you want to support the channel. We'd really appreciate it. Uh, hope you guys are crushing it. And I will talk to you in the next one. All right. Matty S is out.